Rob was just commenting on how beautiful he thinks this image is. This is a live tower cam, America's mattress. Uh, yeah, we've had the cloud coverage for most of the afternoon. We had peaks of sunshine earlier today. Uh, we never expected or anticipated rain showers, so you could very well have gotten your car cleaned. But uh, it's late tonight after midnight and into tomorrow morning with the passage of the cold front that the lower elevations, the valleys get the rain shot. Now temperatures should be in about the mid and upper 30s tomorrow morning. The coldest air arrives Saturday morning and folks, in addition to the rain and the wind and the cooler temperatures, we're also going to be talking about some light to moderate snow in the mountain zones. In the meantime, that wind is pushing around some allergens in the air. Trees right now still dominant. That's going to be the same. I don't think this will change for another couple of weeks. So trees are up there. Grass, weed, non-existent, mold, very low. But wind is transporting. Wind speeds right now, we're talking uh, 10 to 20, 25-ish. Uh, top wind gusts of the day, certainly more subdued than we expected. Uh, these are right around the 35 to 40 mile per hour zone. We were hoping for some stronger gusts, not necessarily hoping. We were forecasting stronger winds, so thankfully we didn't get that. But uh, their upper elevations, the higher elevations, they did pick up 50 and 60 near 70 mile per hour wind speeds. No high wind warnings, no wind advisories, and we did not expect RFWs, red flag warnings. That is on the eastern plains. Now this. Uh, Mountain snow that I'm talking about, it's going to get over the divide Saturday and then it's going to focus on the front range and the foothills Saturday as well. So if you're traveling, let's say you're starting tomorrow early, you're going to encounter uh, deteriorating conditions over the mountain zones. Right now, uh, we're in the mid 60s and that travel up and over the passes throughout the day tomorrow and Saturday will become problematic for you in the highest elevations. Now we cooled exactly as we expected from yesterday. We're going to continue cooling further. Uh, we're near 70 today for our highs. Tomorrow we're going to be more in the middle 50s. Now Montrose, low 50s. Montrose, we're going to probably be dealing with darker clouds and at least lingering rain shots throughout the afternoon hours, even though this system is going to be exiting further to our east. Highlighted in green, this is something we're going to see a lot more of this spring because of the flood warnings and because of the warmer temperatures. If you looked up at the Grand Mesa or any snow covered fields today, uh, you likely saw a bit of a haze or a bit of a reddish brown hue. That's dust. Dust contributes to a quick melt, but so do warm temperatures. Now we're going to slow that melt off with the warm temperatures, courtesy of uh, the cold front that's coming through after the midnight hour tonight. Now on radar right now, there's not much to it. There's very little occurring a little bit further to the north around Craig Highway 40 out of the state into Utah. Yeah, there is some light rain falling, uh, even some very light snow right now over the highest portions of Delta and Mesa County. But folks, again, this is a waiting game. We're going to have to wait until the midnight hour. Now that being said, said we have the southwest flow just to our north, so there's a nice band of showers and thunderstorms right along Highway 40 corridor uh, that could get a little bit deeper in strength, but right now it's just light. Now, as we continue to the midnight hour, that's where the cold front comes through, and that same channel to our north could transition to some light snow flurries. But again, nothing below 9,000 feet. It's all going to be rain. Once we get past the midnight hour, that's where we start to see our rain chances increasing. Starting our Friday morning for Grand Junction and Delta, we could see some of those rain showers. And you know, it gets wonky here on the Grand Valley. Palisade could be looking at snow flurries. Mount Garfield could be covered in snow flurries. But again, we have a very high snow level. We have very warm and dry conditions at the surface. But with the cold front coming through tonight and lingering tomorrow, affecting our temperatures, we could see some of this. Now notice uh, by midday tomorrow, this starts to transition towards the Continental Divide and then further into Friday and Saturday morning, further east it goes. So we have still have a great weekend on tap. This winter weather advisory issued just a couple of hours ago. This is valid through Saturday morning. So again, travel hazard, I reiterate, if you're traveling over those mountain corridors, the highest elevations, you're probably going to get a little slick, not too bad. I mean, it is April after all, but down low, we get the cooler temperatures out of it. Now, tomorrow morning, not so much. We're still in the middle and upper 30s. That's a little too mild for snow production. So after midnight tonight, throughout the morning hours tomorrow for Grand Junction, that represents our rain. Past noon, not too much. The weekend recovers nicely. The difference between the upper 50s, upper 60s on Saturday and Sunday. Also, plenty of sunshine. Now we're still looking at unsettled conditions for the middle of next week. That's why we're going to keep that temperature roller coaster going. We'll also keep wind in the forecast, breezy 10 to 30 miles per hour. Then we're still going to keep wind gusts going tonight, and I expect we'll feel it again towards the midnight hour. Again, Montrose, we will probably hang on to our rain showers beyond the AM hours. We're not expecting a whole lot of rain, but I think it'll be helpful adding it to the bucket. Reminder, 
we have a surplus, so any more is beneficial.